Hey, I'm Steve Mignotti, and it's hard to imagine that the Chevy Camaro has been around for a half a century, 50 years. I'm here now with a 1967 Camaro convertible, the first of the breed, and let's remember too that, of course, April 17th, 1964, three years earlier, Ford beat everybody to the pony car punch with the Mustang, and it's safe to say that General Motors was unprepared. Not a secret that the Camaro and Firebird were pushed ahead very rapidly to meet the Mustang challenge. And in fact, in 1967, when Camaro debuted, Mustang sales fell by about 30%. That tells us that all those guys who were forced into a Mustang who otherwise might have bought a Camaro, well, when they finally had one to buy, they did it. Now, the great thing about Camaro is that this 1967 example here, these convertibles have something special. Under the hood and in the trunk compartment, they have things called seismic dampers or cocktail shakers. They're sort of a cylindrical structure that has a lead weight inside that helps to dampen cowl shake. The Milford, Michigan Proving Grounds engineers found that Camaro convertibles had a tendency to wiggle a little bit. So they put the car on their test fixtures, did some computer computing, and found that putting masses into the front and rear corners of these cars help to stabilize and kill the cowl shake. A lot of guys restore these cars and miss that point. But if you don't have the cocktail shakers in your Camaro convertible, it's not fully correct. Beyond that, wheels and tires are also very important. You want to make sure to get the right stuff. Coker offers a wide variety of bias ply tires for those of you who want the exact factory look, and some modernized radials, of course, including the wide oval radial, which gives the car a modern performance capability, but with the retro look. But happy birthday, Camaro, 50 years and still going strong.